Hello, hello everyone. Exciting news. Another beautiful collection by Crafters Companion. This one is called Secret Garden. So I've got the full bundle, I think. And let's start with the first one. It's a um, beautiful enchanted doll. This one is stamp and die. I'm actually looking those things together with you guys. So I haven't seen them uh, before. And I just released the back, so I'm not going to struggle to open it. So this one is beautiful, beautiful doll and some foliage around it. And the tie, I'm looking at the tie. So you can see this one, the side, it doesn't have the cutting edge. So I'm thinking that we will be able to open the door to this beautiful, beautiful garden. We've got some butterflies some flowers and we've got this foliage as well and there is no stamp for this but i believe that we can use some papers from the collection beautiful for coloring if you like coloring and uh, die cutting as well you can see the packaging to give you some ideas as well so i'm looking and i'm thinking already what am i going to do with this one and another one is again stamp and die. I can see this one is quite big. You can see by the size over here. And let's look inside. Okay, so we've got cutting die for this beautiful uh, foliage. We've got some hanging uh, lanterns as well. We've got the dies and the uh, stamps for it as well. Let me grab some paper so I can show you better. Sorry about the noise. So now you can see it better. So we've got a cutting day for every single stamp as far as I can see. Yes, yeah, you can see it now. <laughs> Sorry. And it's great for everyone who likes coloring. I love my dry blends. So I'm going to have lots of fun um, coloring those. So that's another dice and, and stamp set. Let's see if we've got another. Yeah, let's go through the stamps. So this one is Mystical Wool. It's a stamp set. And let's see. So we've got this beautiful tree. We've got this, hmm, I don't know how, we, uh, how do you call this little animal. It's between deer and, but it has wings. Hmm, something, some mystical animal. <laughs> Best wishes just for you. We've got a key, happy birthday. I love this font over here. Hope you like it as well. So this one is again for a stamp set. Another stamp set. This one is called uh, Secrets Revealed. So we've got this uh, little girl going through the, uh, the door and we've got beautiful sentiments as well, secret garden. This one is going to be really nice for, for everyone who likes to do coloring as well. So we've got another stamps and this one is also super cute. We've got a girl on a swing in a secret garden. A moment in time that's the name of the stamp set and again we've got the little girl beautiful uh, foliage with some flowers and those cute tiny butterflies so that's another one and now we going to, I'm going to show you this one is a cut and emboss folder let's look inside very interesting so we've got again um, a doorway to a secret garden and embossing cut and embossed for the so i think this one is really nice we can use foliage as well around it and we can maybe use someone or some animal in the in the doorway Oh, I like this one. Secrets Unlocked. This one is actually stamp and die set. Let's look inside. We've got this beautiful 
keyhole and a birdie and some butterflies and again we've got a cutting die for every single element so this one will be actually really nice as a centerpiece on my card on my project i already like this one uh, and i always liked keys and um, tags this one is called secret key it's a smallish size of cutting die as you can see let's see inside so we've got this beautiful tag which we can use to stamp some of the sentiments and i really like this key it's not very small actually i thought it's going to be smaller let's see it's about yeah eight and a half centimeters so this one is a decent size Another element of the collection and this one what is it it's metal die beautiful big one uh 3.9 inches by 6.2 so the card of your project with this um die will be slightly bigger than the average size of any card let me see there is a cutting edge around everywhere and i'm trying to see it looks like this part over here uh, it's not in the cutting edge so I'm imagining that you we will be able to open the doorway I love it you can ink it through the die as well this one is going to be nice or you can use it for gatefold cards as well I'm thinking I'm already thinking what I'm going to use it for and now we've got some vellum and papers so first let's start off, let me just move this to the side. So let's start with uh, the vellum pad. It's 8x8 eight eight, uh, vellum pad, 150 GSM. And there are six designs, as you can see over here. Six designs by, and six uh, pages. So we've got this one let me grab some paper white paper so you can see okay now you can see better so we've got this one beautiful 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 rose and some script some splashes which i love they looks like like a bit golden and then let's see the next design which will be oh wow this one is pretty look at this one i love the purple um I remember the name of that plant but okay of course it's escaped my mind now and i think there are some yeah yeah there is some script and it looks like a bit of golden over here but it's not but look at this this one is very pretty and let's go to the next design do you like using vellum I love looking at the vellum but sometimes I struggle with using vellum on my projects look at this page just love this one I love the coins I love the it looks like a key yes it is a key <laughs> keyhole sometimes it's hard to see it beautiful butterflies and all those foliage leaves and stuff and another design oh wow look at this pretty pretty page i think you can see it better this way yeah and i think two more again another pretty one i love this collection and um, nature garden it's full of beautiful stuff beautiful flowers and leaves and beautiful compositions as well beautiful if you can write it in the comment below what do you like to use the most uh how what kind of project you like to uh make with vellum i'm really really interested look at that keyhole beautiful script and this beautiful colors yeah and that's the last design so we've got six designs in six and um, six um, pages for each of them 
and now let's go through the luxury mix card and uh, we've got 32 pieces and there are in as you can see two different types we've got texture card and we've got per pearlescent card and uh, in four different colors you've got this dark green green pink and uh, purple or lilac so let's see maybe I should not remove those papers but I want to show you how they look like in this good light actually today it's not sunny but it's bright so you can actually see the real colors so that's the luxury card I think hopefully I will not, go, not drop those papers and this one is 12 by 12 paper pad it's 180 GSM it has 36 double sided uh, printed sheets and they are in I think 12 designs and three of each double sided so we're going to be sure I'm going to show you on both sides so we've got three of each yes yes three of each and that's the front of course when you look at this page you straight away see this beautiful purple and to me it looks like a golden splashes all over this page and in the background we've got this um, music sheet and we've got the door as well when i leave the pages you can see actually the real colors because i've got the sun from that side so hopefully you can see those beautiful colors and this that's the reverse of that first page and look at those green leaves beautiful like in a hidden garden somewhere so we've got three again and at the reverse we've got a, a music sheet i think this way when i lift the part ever so slightly you can actually see the real colors and in this one look at this beautiful flowers beautiful colors leaves and again we've got the music sheet and those uh, golden speckles all over and that's the reverse of that page this one is more well not more but slightly new, um, less of those vivid colors and we've got as the same as very similar to the one in vellum pad we had this key and keyhole in the corner and at the reverse we've got this paper and look at this one this one is just beautiful look at those colors oh wow oh wow i love this one it looks golden it looks rich it looks just beautiful and this one i think this one and that one will be one of my favorite papers and let's see at the reverse this is the first time i'm looking at this paper but as well so we are looking at it together we've got the script nice neutral color and i love this one because this one is the same as in the vellum pad this one where's that paper see this is the same it's just stunning stunning paper fantastic design and at the reverse we've got this beautiful nice um small light blue with some darker colors and that's another one can already see that this video is going to be a bit long but i'm trying my best not to not to make it too long and this one is again beautiful page and some scripted a script and um, music sheet 
and I love this one again I would love to have it in a 6x6 um, paper pad but we don't have it with this collection no. oh yeah I showed you this one and that's the reverse of this page and look at this wow this is great I love this teal colors it's so much going on on this one it's not extremely bright but i love the colors and then again we've got those uh, hints of gold it looks like gold rich just beautiful and this page i love this page i don't know well, how they created this um design that it looks like gold to me <laughs> and look at this one beautiful i think that's the last one so let's look at the reverse yes beautiful uh, music sheet again with some uh, flowers so that's the full collection of this beautiful secret garden and in a few minutes i'm going to add some another video with my samples so hopefully you you like it let me know in the comment below thank you so much so these are my samples for the Secret Garden uh, paper collection. Uh, let's start with this one. This one is um, colored with Thrive Blend alcohol markers. And we've got this doorway and inside we've got this, um, I don't still don't know what kind of animal is it, but um, hopefully you know so you can actually write it down in the comment below. I use the papers, I use the luxury card and card blank, six by six uh, card blanks. I stamped secret garden sentiment. And as I said, I colored it with um, alcohol markers. This one is just normal tent fold. Then we've got this fancy fold card again with a very similar concept as this one but i use the embossing for the card and emboss folder and behind it i just added this vellum with beautiful roses and some script at the back colored it with um with a uh, pencils let me grab the pencils color blend and pencils with um, by spectrum noir of course i added some um, glitter markers and some color on the flowers i added butterflies hopefully you can see it well because it's getting darker so the colors are slightly different than on my project i added the key again sentiment a little, a little bit different style and this one it's again quite simple card it's a z fold card i use this beautiful green luxury card stuck with some papers from the collection as well i added this one is a stamp and there is an um cutting die to cut it out again i used alcohol markers to color this beautiful birdie hole and that branch with the butterfly as well i use my own circle uh, nest uh, nesting dies to create that centerpiece and the ribbon and pearls from my stash and the last one is this easel card i use this beautiful big die and stamp from that collection i use this time i use this color bl color blend um pencils to color this beautiful stamp and it's like a gate into this beautiful garden i use the luxury card stock i used a um, stamping card most of my card bases have that i'm done with stamping card by crafters companion it's a very good card it's 300 gsm so it's very good for any project as well and as you can see i use the sentiments and you can cut out stamp and cut out those beautiful small butterflies and i added some glitter glue in the scent as well so this one is a uh, an easel card 
just wondering which project do you like the most i actually am a fan of quite simple cards so those two are my favorite cards and i really like this one i'm not working on this one i'm still not sure if i'm going to send it off or not but that's what i've made uh with the collection hopefully you will see my next video with another presentation thank you so much bye bye